Most of the half a million people who call Wyoming home, our state is a place of safety, community, friendship, tranquility, and simplicity. But for the youth of the nation's least populated state, the story can be vastly different. A complex search for opportunity and identity in a state they sometimes feel provides neither. Our open spaces become a vice, our small population a translation for small potential. One thing, however, is clear. This place is ingrained into each of these youth. It will always be a part of their story, a piece of their past. But for most students, the question is, can it remain a part of their future? I want to be a songwriter. This song? Yeah. And well, a writer in general, and many other, have many other aspirations. I want to be a zoologist, and in Wyoming, we don't really have a zoo, so. I want to be an actual writer, so I'm really interested in that. And to go to school for a time in theater, in order to uh, transfer into a uh, film school. Well, I don't know about school here. I know that definitely I want to come back at some point. A confused future consists of a little something outside of Wyoming. I think that Wyoming does have a lot of really good programs. Casper College is a great program. UW is a good program. There, there are really good programs everywhere that I could get involved with. I mean, community theater, stage three, it's a great place. I could come back and maybe do something there. At CC, Casper College has really good theater program that they have going, so I'm looking forward to be part of it for at least a couple years. Wyoming's a great place. I think that since there's so few people here, it's really a place where you can just kind of focus on what you need to focus on. More kind of recreational, fun stuff that people need to do. It shaped my future though because, because of this place I'm used to wildlife and it got me into liking animals and wanting to pursue the career. I can see myself wanting to retire here. The uh, low population is something that I enjoy quite a bit. Right now, waiting for me um, to be a songwriter, because I'm going to do that in California. And that's where all that music industry kind of stuff is going on, and I think that's a, a great opportunity to learn that stuff. Um, and I don't think uh, Wyoming has as much of that kind of opportunity. Um, if I were to stay here I think it would be a great place to raise a family because it is one of those smaller states. I'm in a small town and I like the small town feel. Um, I'm comfortable with the people around me and it seems like it'd be a better environment to raise children in. Um, I see myself as wanting to come back here. This is where I grew up. This is where I know and learned most of everything I know now. It's something that I would definitely want to come back to. I think it would be, I'd like it more at least if maybe we got a little bit more attention so maybe bigger schools could come and see, oh this kid's really good at football, or oh this kid's really good at soccer, this kid's really good at acting, stuff like that so we can get more people out there for our sake. You're not as materialistic or caught up in the, um, the media game world kind of obliviousness that you would in huge cities and stuff. You get to be out in nature and see the world as it really is. I know that definitely I want to come back at some point um, after I get my education and figure out what I'm doing. In this state, ambitions often fail to flourish.
dreams once passionately pictured in the mind's eye deflate and are replaced with a crushing sense of reality. While opportunity in our state may be lacking, so too is exposure to the resources which are present. To finally emerge from our image as a dead-end state in the eyes of our own youth, we must fight on two fronts. Firstly, the promotion of those opportunities which are present must be made a focal point of our social media and culture. We must force into the eyes of our youth the opportunities given to them by this place and its people. This alone, however, is not enough. Advancements are necessary in programs of all kinds, athletics, academics, recreation. We must diversify and improve the opportunities available for our residents, introduce new resources, better those present. In the interest of our state's future, we must tap the potential of our youth by allowing them to tap the potential of their home.